water is overflowing from the gutters. It's overflowing from the gutters and the back gutter is doing good. So now I'm going to go outside and fix it. Stay inside, okay? Rain. Capture as much rain as possible. Oh. Oh. Incredible amount of water. Water is settling on the back of the hill here. Water is settling in the swales and down the hill here. It's coming down so quick. It's building up behind behind this. Is it coming out the other end? Look at that. It's coming out the other end. It's soaking wet. Soaking into these swales. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, absorbing all this water. Nothing overflowing. Let's see what we got. Look at that. Very, it's a little wet on the ground here. All that water soaking into the ground. I see. A little moist over here. Water soaking into the hoogle. This is a hoogle culture in front of us. The water is soaking into the swale. Look how much water is being captured. What about the hoogle, hoogle mounds? A little moist on the top. Look at this, look at this. It's getting drenched, good water. That needs a foundation under it before it gets too full. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, a little bit of wet. A little soggy right here in this trench. Level contour. Now what do we have here? We have it coming off the lawn and it's pooling a little bit right here. So that tells me I need to extend, I need to extend my hoogle here further out to catch that water off this corner and move it back towards, towards the line here. What about my new hoogle? What about my new hoogle? Let's see how we're doing here. This is going to be a new hoogle, and it's trenched out on level. I haven't been able to finish it, uh, but this is going to catch quite a bit of water and hold it. Look at all that growth. Wonderful, wonderful rain. Now, what is that? What is that? Got a little, a little kill off in the middle of my sage there. Okay, we're getting some, some water on the compost. But we don't have those big, big trenching floods that we had before. Um, this uh, this drain pipe is getting it away from the house. But there you go, it's subsided. A little more under control. Driving the water down the hill there. Do we have center overflow here? Center overflow. Let's see. Yep. Look at all that water down there. Soaking into this mound. Okay. Water flowing out. Top and bottom. Coming off the roof. That's ideal. Okay. I'm going to try to stay up on the deck here. Soak and spread it out. Soak and spread it out. Our new cover. Getting a little water under it. That's good. Now this pit is a mulch pit. It is absorbing some of the water that's running away from the house here, but it needs to be full of mulch. 
It needs to be filled up. Here's a little pond. What do we got here? See this collecting in the driveway? Look at that overflow. Look at that overflow. That needs to be, be harnessed and captured and used in the garden. It's falling it down here, flowing down the river, filling up this swale, but not quite, not quite coming off on the back. We got to maintain these things. Should be coming off on the back here, and then into into this trench. It's pulling away this watershed here. This watershed down here. What about what do we got up here? We got a raging river coming down this hill all the way down that watershed. The question to ask is how do we capture this? Do we cut the curb and run it to a small pond? Or do we cut the curb up higher? Yeah, that's, that's a sign to get inside. Okay, let's check down here again. What do we got here? Got this overflowing into this swale. I can cut back this swale a little bit to get that water on level. Okay, it's absorbing it so fast, but there's still room for improvement on leveling this baby out. There we go, we're back online. Look at this diversion. This diversion trench. It's doing its job. It's gonna use some gravity. Okay, it's more important to get the water away from the house than it is to catch it all. So I put a siphon.